In the last video, we worked on the interaction of the buttons and the correct and incorrect layers. In this video, we're gonna work on the result slide. We're gonna do the cool, and we're also gonna integrate this cool animated confetti. Let's get started. We have our knowledge check already, and it's got the incorrect and the correct layers. Now we're going to insert the result slide. And here I'm just duplicating the knowledge check so that we have two questions. Um, putting it as question two, changing the question number around. But the important part is going to the slide tab and inserting the result slide. From here, we're gonna click on graded results and hit insert slide. And then you're gonna get this pop-up of the quiz settings. We're going to click okay. You'll notice that the quiz result slide is pretty bland. And what we're gonna do is modify this slide result slide to fit the style of our knowledge checks. I'm gonna to go to the base layer, not the success layer. And then first thing I'll do is change the background color. And I'm gonna sample the color from the knowledge check slide. Then I'm gonna to go to the success slide and start modifying and moving things around. I'm gonna change the text. I'm gonna rearrange the location of the elements and get rid of some of the items. And I'm speeding through this section because everybody can grab the text, grab the elements, change text around and change the font size. And see the two highlighted zeros on the bottom? Those are variables, so we're not gonna delete those. We're gonna keep it, but we're gonna change the formatting uh, to be white and also change it to be a smaller font. And then I'm gonna copy and paste it over so that the variable is retained up there. And for the passing score, I'm gonna do it for the zero on the right by copying and pasting. Here, I'm gonna insert a button and instead of just making a button from scratch, I'm gonna copy it from one of the quiz slides and paste it over. Next, we're gonna insert a check mark icon to the success slide or to the, uh, the pass slide. Here, I'm just changing the color from Illustrator and I'm gonna bring it into Storyline. All right, we got our results success slide done. Now we're gonna move on to the failure layer and we're gonna copy over the text, paste it over. We also need to incorporate the failure icon and we're gonna pull that in from Adobe Illustrator. Again, if you don't have Adobe Illustrator, you can always use other vector editing softwares. I think there's an online one called photop.com that you can use. Um, or you can just use freepick.com, use the icon section and just download the PNG. And then I'm gonna swap out the image by using the replace picture option. For the results slide, we want the continue button to jump to the next slide. Um, I mean, technically we don't have a next slide, but when you're building out your course, the continue button should go in advance out of the results slide. Here, I'm gonna copy the continue button, paste it over to the failure layer, and then change the text from continue to retry. Let's test it out and see if it works properly. Let's preview. The hover over states are working well. The correct layer is working, going on to the second question. And the result slide is working, but the animation and the hover over state of that button needs to be revised. I'm gonna change the entrance animation of the retry button. Then I'm gonna edit the selected state and the hover over state. I'm gonna change some colors around along with the line width. Let's preview one more time and see how it goes. Button's working well, button's working well, and the entrance animation still is not fixed. I need to make sure that it's not entering from the right. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the retry button. Then we'll preview again. And something went haywire on the passing slide layer. You can see that the hover over state is acting funny. So we need to go back and fix that. And the error is happening on the success layer, not the failure layer. 
And one way you could do this is you can copy the formatting of the failure uh, correct button and paste it over or you can just do what I'm doing now and manually fix it. And then another preview. And now it works. Now I'm going to add an entrance animation to the check mark and the incorrect icon. Select the element, go to animation. I'm going to do a grow animation and then we're going to preview again. Now the interaction is pretty much done. You can use this interaction to apply to, you know, all of the knowledge checks and all of the other courses and you can use it as a template. On the next one, for the next video, I'm going to just add uh, a bit more bells and whistles, but that's not necessary. But if you want to follow along, that's going to be on the next video.